Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Oh, uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climbed down. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> ring a ding a ding Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. We're really gonna have to wait. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not 
exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the uh, phones... Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Dude, we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer.
Okay, these are boring. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool.
Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. It's all right. Calm down. ever think about what's next like after we die it's heavy man no I mean like the future yeah sometimes all the time it's so overwhelming I know what you mean sometimes I just try to like let it happen you know what like whatever happens is what was meant to happen like it's all predetermined. Fate. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. where we are yeah up here here hold these sure. this view is just wow Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Right. Sorry. Dumb idea. I just want to finish this. Take your time.
Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. By a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting them which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Mommy, you're dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> mm, I actually think it was a boar. They're usually pretty nocturnal, so you don't see many of them during the day. Oh. Well, actually, boars and hogs are both just terms for wild things. You learn something new every day. Guess we should head back. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? It's 
Still no service. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. oh. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes, got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil yeah, deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Yeah. 
It was... It was okay. Hey! boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. Lucky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to, uh, Avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. Blam. We thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... 
<laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, um, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? No. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? We were talking about her. The hat. Oh, the brother. Cool. You asked me to stop telling ghost stories. Is all. You don't really believe that, do you? Uh, I try to look at things through a certain lens, no expectation or judgment. Look, do I believe there's a little old ghost lady floating around trying to eat people? Well, <laughs> um, but she eats people now? But it's kind of fun to imagine it, right? Just don't get eaten tonight. It like, really put a damper on the mood. Do my best. All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a Flying leap over that fire pit. <laughs> Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no. Jacob. Wait. Don't do it. Stop. <clears throat> dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. <laughs> what? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right, <clears throat> someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick. Uh. Well then. Um, uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? 
It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part cheesy? What? As always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. <laughs> <laughs> 